Brightest blessings, everyone. Psychic medium Elizabeth Grove, the Paranormal Priestess. Welcome to the Paranormal Priestess YouTube channel. And thank you so much for being here. And if you are new, I hope that you will consider becoming a subscriber. Thank you so much to my subscribers, to my clients. I love all of you guys. You guys are powerful beings. Virtual fist bump to you. Um, I'm sorry that I wasn't able to be up yesterday. I, I normally record on a Sunday, um, depending on where you are in the world, be your, your Monday. Um, but there was a health scare with one of my family members, and we thought there was maybe possible COVID-19. Um, it was a sleepless night, lots of stuff going on. And uh, thankfully, you know, we went for the test, and it was not COVID-19. Um, but just really just a lot of different things are going on in the world right now, which we're, you know, we're going to talk about. Um, but, uh, I've been feeling under the weather as well. So, uh, but I'm here. I'm here tonight. Um, so thank you for your patience. And, um, I really appreciate, you know, the, all of you, you know, who really have allowed me to be me. I know there's so many channels out there. There's a sea of channels. And, you know, I I'm never take anything for granted. I'm just really grateful to be able to be the spirit communicator that I am, to be the uh, very unique spirit extractor that I am, and to help you guys to be able to, to move forward and get those answers, that clarity, uh, bring all those details through. And for those of you who are, are not sure if I'm a twin flame reader, in terms of only being a twin flame reader, or if you're, you know, if you're a twin flame and you know someone is not on the twin flame journey, and is she a twin flame reader? Here's the answer to that: I am a twin flame, but I'm not primarily or only, we'll say, a twin flame reader. So I do have a lot of twin flame clients. I want people to understand that I'm on the twin flame journey. I understand it very, very well, how it works, you know, how to um, work with it. And of course I'm channeling so much of that direct information for you, for your own personal uh, journey. But what I'm trying to say is I can read for everyone. So I am a psychic medium, so I can connect with those on the other side. Uh, I'm a medium in all ways, a uh, divine channeler. So these are very direct spirit communication sessions. Um, they're all live. There's nothing recorded. There's no cards used. And I can do this for anyone and everyone. It doesn't matter. The, the angels or your guides, they'll take me from subject to subject. And so you don't necessarily have to refer a twin flame if you know someone who really would like to have a reading. And I resonate with them. They resonate with me. I check in with my guides. Um, yeah, you know, I'm here to, to do that. But for those who are on the Twin Flame journey, we go in deep. We go in deep with the journey. We do. Um, what would help with the healing? What would support it? Is, are there any thought patterns or perceptions that are blockages there? What's what's going on behind closed doors? How could you support everything with your healing, right? Um, also, too, things like reconfirmation. Is the, Am I really on a twin flame path? Is it not a twin flame path? Is it more of a catalyst or a soulmate connection? The truth, please understand, is really within you. It really is. So there's, there's been readers, you know, here and there who have said, no, no, no. You know, it never resonated with me. So please understand that that truth will never go away. That truth is in you. And um, that connection, that core, you can never cut. So I just want to say that. But yes, we do get a lot of, um, I'd say, reconfirmations in the readings. So today, it's going to be all about August. The channel messages, angel channel messages for August. And I do this every month in addition to my weekly videos. And I have to, I sometimes I feel like I say this to you guys a lot, but... I want you to understand it, it's it's at another level. It's completely at another level. We're going to talk more about that because the the angels talked about it. Um, different level, different stage, okay, of where we are right now as a collective. So where we are twin flames, it's it's at a different level. Where we are with humanity's collective, you know, globally, it's just at this other level. Um, and to have to say these messages once again for this month are just I'm like wow boy, they are huge, monumental, 
monumental, all right? Um, you know, this is the Lion's Gate month, 8-8. Eight, eight. So you want to talk about some movement. You want to talk about some change. You want to talk about like some kick in the pants, change, some like fire up your arse, right? <laughs> to get you going in gear, to, you know, to get things to happen. Um, here it is. Here it is. And if you're watching this in real time, we're in the full moon energy of Aquarius. And, um, wow, you know, it's, it's, it's been really overwhelming for a lot of people. And I completely understand that. I completely empathize with you. But I want people to also understand through the messages that I've received, um, a lot of what Archangel Michael has talked about in these messages, that you are getting the divine support. You are getting the divine help. Michael's going to make that super clear as to what is being done while it seems to be just chaos or it seems to the ego mind that everything's in ruin, everything is only chaos instruction and, you know, apocalyptic stuff, that things are not going anywhere with much moon plane connection and that, um, you know, I don't know what this is all about anymore or perhaps I should just, you know, get off my path. Um, turn away from the path and not even you know bother to trust this anymore so I I hope that for those of you who might have fallen into the doubt the fear-based collective energy um, that this will help to restore your faith and for those of you who ha are in you know great faith and great surrender um, which I know is, is really hard to do um, definitely pat yourself on the back for how far you've come. It's, it's really important time. Um, I'm on the Celtic path. I'm a white witch. Um, very much a, a, a druid as well. I'm a white witch. Um, love the whole the whole Celtic magic. Um, and a divine alchemist. And I just celebrated Lamas or the Festival of Lu, Lunasa, which is August 1st. It is the first harvest. Um, and so there's so much to be thankful for, both with, you know, what, the miracles of the earth, the beautiful things that the earth brings, and, and so much of the miracles that are in our lives right now that sometimes we have trouble, you know, being grateful because of just how everything's just all over the place on planet earth right now. Um, so try your best to find your footing. Try your best to find your balance, as Druids always state. Um, Try your best to stick to what's really important, you know, sticking to the truth. And I think that's a really great segue um, for getting into these messages. So um, I have some notes down here. Um, Archangel Michael, definitely let me know if there's anything else that um, I felt intuitively was important to share that he would trust me with that. So thank you so much, sir, for entrusting me with that um but let me just give you some of the the bold statements coming up for this month and um you are certainly welcome to hit like or favor this video to go back to it because there might be some things that you may want to meditate on go deeper with and that's always a great idea it's kind of like when when people have readings with me i, I always recommend because you know, people ask, you know, is it best to record? Should I, can I record this? And I said, of course, of course you record it. There's nothing to hide here. Um, write it, digitally record it, record it on Skype, you know, record it. Because there's so much, if there's so much information, it's very hard sometimes to process it all in one shot. So you might want to go back and just revisit things. Or you might have missed something or something maybe didn't make sense to you at that time and it makes sense later on. So just putting that out there. You know, it might be a good idea for you. So, yes, the mighty lion, the mighty sovereign lion. Archangel Michael starts out with a statement, it's time for those on the twin flame path to understand that their reality is changing. Wow, are we changing. Change is a huge, huge theme for the month of August. And we're not talking about like little, you know, we're talking about really huge life-changing types of things all right life-changing decisions life-changing events you know, really moving forward being pushed forward with this fiery energy and the, and the lion's energy 
he wants Twin Flames to understand that a lingering with holding on to the 3D paradigm that uh, trying to hold on to what no longer serves is merely almost impossible. I get this a lot from Twin Flames who they ask, well, if I'm doing the work, um, can my person, can my partner not do the work and keep holding on to their old ways? Can, so the question really is, you know, can union be delayed? Yeah. Yeah, union can be delayed. We have interferences that happen, right? We have um, those types of things where you're, someone's trying to hold so hard to what's not working and, and has to try all the wrong options or the wrong people or whatever to be able to learn that lesson, right? Uh, but we also have outside interferences. Okay, uh, which I like to call monsters, right? But there's so many things. There's there's projected energy, there's manifestations, there's um, malicious, dark malicious souls. There's the demonic. There's there's all of that stuff, and and those things, you know, it's not nice to think about them. But coming from the the paranormal um, view, the supernatural view, okay, um, you know, these things are real. You know, they they're real. They really, really are. And it's important that we protect ourselves. It's important that we ask Archangel Michael to remove out any types of these beings and interferences. Um, you know, there's this black magic that you know, I, I've talked about this on other videos. You know, there's black magic and curses and possessions and all those things. So, um, can things be delayed? Yeah, they they sure can. They can. And then sometimes it's best to reach out for help when you you feel like there's something maybe really wrong, right? Um, but what Michael's really referring to here is someone trying to, you know, delay their awakening, you know, or maybe that, not consciously trying to delay their way, but they're, they're, they're still holding on to those types of ego thought patterns, right? They're holding on strongly to, to that. And it, let me tell you that this, these healings, these, um, purifications that are going on, um, they're intense now. They're super, super intense. So everything, I got the vision of a locomotive, okay? Um, this is energetically where everything is just being sped up and the engine is just Like, and that, that's what it's feeling like now, right? Give me a shout out, you know, if, if you feel the same, like that everything is just really speeding up and intensifying and it's overwhelming individuals and it's, it's overwhelming um, collectively. The earth is overwhelmed, it's very overwhelmed right now as we'll get into. Um, but since everything really is in progress and it's happening so quickly and so intensely, um, being able to actually hold on is going to be almost impossible because of just all of that energy of change that's happening now. So Michael wanted to really make sure to, to tell you that, okay, um, if you're holding on to anything, if you're holding on to behaviors or thought patterns or things that are not serving you, um, you know, it's, it's going to be some miserable days for you. You're not going to be able to kick it. You're going to have to really just face it. You can't walk away, basically, and not deal with it without having an extremely hard time and things breaking down in your world in order to get you to understand, you know, to clarify what's not serving you. You have people taking away out of your life. You know, you, um, you know, we have a lot of marriages, karmic marriages that are coming to an end very, very swiftly in it now. And, um, you know, those who have been, you know, lying to themselves or denying things or, um, really just trying to stick with what they feel works. You know, we're talking about 3D paradigm. Oh, well, this this just works. Um, your higher soul, your higher self wants you to be able to achieve so much more, to awaken further. The earth is awakening. So, you know, it's, it's, it's about facing those fears. I had this discussion with my Divine Masculine about facing fears. And, um... You know, he had a really good point about this. You know, I, I have mentioned to um, 
my divine masculine that you know hey it's it's not just about facing your fear although that's very courageous and it's very brave right and we have courage and we have bravery that's coming up this august you know that leo energy uh you know facing it's one thing but we also have to be able to actually see it through or work through it and release it so it's no longer plaguing us it's no longer blocking us and he understood that part of it um doing the inner work in, in such a way like that it's it, it just it's never been of him to do it um but now he's realizing that yeah i'm benefiting a lot by actually you know sitting with things and working through tra uh, trauma and working through the thoughts that no longer serve me weeding them out and saying okay these are the shadows let me let me let me face them but let me also work through them so that way they're not going to hinder me any longer they're not going to lower my vibration and my frequency any longer right and that's really important but he had a good point about facing fears and it has a lot to do with um, something that Archangel Michael has his statues that's why it's why I'm looking at it like, um, about you have a you know it's, it is about a choice also um, and, and this is what Michael you know talks about we have the choice of whether or not to be within the 5d heart space and right? choose that choose the love choose the truth or fall back into the ego and choose that and right? we can fall back by those fear-based thoughts coming back up and you know at that point it it's like it's, it's facing it and saying okay you know what the truth is stronger than or my higher self and my divine self is stronger than you. And so I'm, I'm going to replace that negative affirmation or that fear-based affirmation with a positive one. So I am stronger than you. I'm facing you. So I really get that perspective from my divine masculine, and I really appreciated that because I think there's a lot of truth to both sides of it um, from what we discussed. So I just want to put that out there. It is about facing, you know, bravely facing having courage to face our shadows because it does take so much bravery and so much courage to do that to step it up and, and to do that right it's, it's the spiritual warrior to do that um but then when we face it what do we do with it what do we do with it so that way it's it's not energetically there it's it's not playing out within us and within our lives any longer right such as with you know karmic situations and karmic so that's what's so important about the inner work. It's so important about, um, you know, being able to get that inner work done. And the fire energy that's coming through now and the lion's gate that we're going to be going through is truly, truly, truly going to bring up, you know, whatever really needs to be changed that you're not seeing or you've maybe known about but kept turning away from or not dealing with, basically. Okay, resisting or denying and these energies are so strong now that you you cannot hide you cannot hide and and, and that's the real truth of it we're just at another stage and another level of things okay um, from what I heard the choices will be clearer as the accelerated changes are in effect so as you know as you become it as exchange happens you know the choices of what to choose as far as ego versus heart is going to be so much clearer. So that way, you know, you make that other choice rather than fall back into the 3D paradigm of things. We are given now this amazing, miraculous option to live a 5D paradigm on Earth in a physical context and physical manifested way which is just unbelievable when you think about it, hence all the ascension symptoms and, and things that we go through to detoxify, you know, because our light bodies are being activated, our energies are changing, and then it's changing us, you know, at the biological level, it's changing all of that, and it, it's kicking out all of that lower from every toxin, from the physical toxins, the mental toxins, the emotional toxin, toxins, spiritual toxins, all of it. You know, that, that's what's happening is we're going through these detox symptoms or ascension symptoms. But if you guys are experiencing it consistently, like there's ascension symptoms all the time, there's a good reason for that. 
because look what's going on in planet Earth. It's a huge, huge clean out. Okay, and it's not going to stop. We're going to keep on progressing with things, and these portals will keep on coming. And I had, you know, someone say to me, well, oh, it's another moon portal, it's another Lionsgate portal, and it's like, you know, nothing seems to be happening. And I had to think to myself, what? There are lots of things happening. There are lots of energies supporting this thing. Okay? Supporting your awakening. When I say this thing, supporting your awakening and mass awakening. There is. There is so much support. But we have to be able to recognize it, not fall back into the 3D ways of looking at things, the 3D perspectives, the 3D fear patterns. The doubt. Um, a twin flame merge, a deeper one, will be achieved by the Lion's Gate. Yes, there are things happening. And yes, we always have, you know, the full moons and the Mercury retrogrades and the eclipses and the Lion's Gates every year. But again, you know, please have this emphasized and known when the ego tries to sneak in and, and discard this or debunk it that we're at a whole other level here. You're at a different stage, different level of your awakening with your beloved. And so even though we have other those portals around the bend again, they're not going to be experienced at that same level that you did. It's going to be a lot more intensified. It's going to be a lot more accelerated. It really is. So you know, different types of experiences will come up. You know, it's always... It's always different. Okay, the deeper merge is due to the, the clearing of 3D thought patterns, behaviors, changes on the individual and collective global scale. Right, and that's what Michael's saying. Um, divine masculines, for those of you who are divine masculines, um, if you are divine feminine watching this, this is about your divine masculine. Um, the majority of the ego based blockages, there's been a big, huge majority of it. Um, being eradicated okay they're heading down a road of salvation is what I heard of freedom and as soon as I heard that I got the eagle as a spirit animal and eagles are about that courage eagles are about freedom freedom to fly new perspectives trusting in oneself you know trusting in the flight trusting in spirit Okay, it's a lot about change too, trusting in those new horizons. And that's where the divine masculine is going now. This is, this is where it is. Okay? And um, so much of that is, is due to the fact that, you know, hey, they, they planned it. Their higher soul planned it. They really did. The higher soul plan that the divine feminine, you know, has been um, very instrumental with being proactive in the journey because usually the divine feminine awakens first in most cases. And, um, you know, it, it's about working together because you are together. There's never any separation, so you both impact each other all the time, as I always talk about. If you're new, you know, um, you know, definitely go back to some of my other videos that talk about this is that... There is no separation. We can't treat this as though you're separated. When one moves, the other moves. When one shifts the energy within and between, of course that's going to impact and get the other one to change their energy. Because you guys are the same soul, same frequency. So it's really important to always understand this and think of terms in terms of, um, of union and not separation, okay? You know, the fact that you, you are one. Right? We're just letting go and releasing all the things that block that out, that keep us from aligning with that oneness, with that unity. Okay. Um, Archangel Michael says that the Divine Masculine, of course, through the Lion's Gate, uh, accelerated growth, masculine energy of fire, uh, loss of ego, and Michael wants to bring this out, which I'm glad he brought out, is that the death of the ego, the loss of the ego, 
on the outside, when it comes up consciously, it appears very erratic. It appears very negative. It will appear as though that person is getting worse, but it's going to be a temporary thing. And that's what's really important to understand. Okay? Um, the Divine Feminine are having some trouble trusting in their Divine Masculine. And I want to say this, the Divine Masculines, they really are understanding that they can't get you out of their head. They can't get you out of their heart. You're always with them, no matter what. If they try to shut you off of the karmic, if they try to, you know, turn away from the truth, you've always been there. You've always been there. Okay? And they're recognizing that I, I truly, you know, want to give my all to this. I truly do know that this is the one. I really do feel this person. Okay? Right now here's a storm going on here in the area. And, you know, that's a great sign for the masculines are, you know, a lot of them are still getting through that storm, but yet they're realizing so much. They've come so far and realized so much. Right? But it's also like a storm when so much comes up, when, when growth is accelerated, when change is accelerated, it feels like a storm. We're going through this just craziness. Right? And that's what the earth is going through, this great, crazy storm. That's accelerated, intensified, overwhelming, change. But it's needed. It's needed, it's necessary, it's fast. It's fast and the furious, right? Kind of like what it's sounding like outside. Um, it, it's a fast and furious storm that's just, right? That's this thing is really progressing. And I, I just want everyone to um to understand that what Michael is telling you is, is is truth. Those who do not feel their twin flame anymore, or feel like they're connected to the path, or feeling um that dropout of frequencies, like, oh I don't even, I don't feel my twin anymore, I don't, I'm connected to this anymore. Um, you know, there's there's something to be said from that okay and it's explained that the ego is dying there's that ego death again and so much is being brought up to the conscious surface therefore a dropping of union frequency and vibration occurs that's right your vibration drops your beloved's vibration drops the frequency drops when all of that garbage, all of those toxins, all of those thought patterns, all of those guilts, those fears, those resentments, um, everything that's been toxic, when it comes up to come out, it has to be re-experienced in a temporary way in order for you to finally see it, in order to free it. So it appears as, as the opposite in a lot of ways. All right? And then that really comes down to holding on to the past too much. It's a great quote from Eckhart Tolle. Um, it was something like, you know, when someone is experiencing, I may not get this exactly right, but it was close to this. When someone is experiencing a lot of grief, resentment, anger, and all those types of emotions, it's because someone is experiencing too, they have too much past rather than presence. And it's true, you know, holding on to the past holding on to the trauma, holding on to those emotions, those repressed emotions. There's so much of that, these trapped memories. There are things that we have just pushed down and pushed down and pushed down, right? And we have to keep on going through it and keep recycling it and recycling it and recycling. And some people may not realize it, right? And it's so important for us to stay really present that's the only place to live. Let's see, that's where the living is. It's, it's in the present. So Michael says about this that um, it's, of course, he adds the purification or spiritual detox that uh, occurs there. 
okay, when the two counterparts, when you're unable to feel each other through the heart space, right, because your spark is in the heart space, we're not able to feel each other. That's because just envision like a, a clogged pipe or something like that. Everything's clogged. Or if within your body you're holding on to so many pathogens and so much chemicals and all this stuff where, you know, your organs and systems just, it's like sludge. They can't seem to do their job. Your liver can't seem to do its job and get this stuff out right easily. It's just all clogged up. And it's very similar to when you're not feeling your twin any longer. Very similar. And it truly means that all that stuff is just calming up so that way it can be released it could be detoxed so think of it as like a physical detox too again you know when we think of it in holistic terms mind body spirit we can separate those okay and um, that's when we fall he says this is when we fall out of alignment with union energies and then then we start you know clinging to the old 3d standby of separation thinking and fear-based thoughts like doubt and patience you know maybe this was never true all of those things so i want you to realize that and when you go up and down with that and back and forth with that that's what's happening you know and you know that roller coaster ride that twin flames often describe which is very true it's, it's all different stages different levels of of clearing and then the the renewal the higher vibe frequency comes in the new beginning comes in Okay. And again, we have to look at this as being very intensified change with these things happening. Uh, those who have turned away from the twin flame journey, um, this is a statement, quote unquote, from Archangel Michael, those who have turned away from the twin flame journey have fallen out of alignment with truth due to overflowing egoic fears. Okay. You know, that's just really, um, you know, stating that truth, you know, stating that truth that you've fallen out of truth due to do the ego. Okay. It's about aligning with that truth, which is unity, union with them, union with source, okay, union with all. Um, those who are having a hard time must turn to the light now. Okay. Facing the shadows within as well as deciphering the shadows without. The dark forces of collective fear-based energy are creating many illusions and are out to destroy those who have held strong to the light. Yes, 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 yes. I, have, I recommend so much that if you guys have not worked with it, um, I put a daily uh, clearing and protection prayer, twin flame clearing and protection prayer up on the channel. Uh, I put videos up, you know, to help with protection methods. Okay, so take a look at those. Um, it's really important to, you know, protect yourself, protect your union, protect your physical space. And, you know, it's, as we get closer, right, as we, when we say closer, when we get closer to alignment with union, that's union all with self, just please understand what union is, union with self, union with source, union with our beloveds. It's all of that. It's not it's not just, it's not focusing on a twin flame relationship in the physicals. It's, it's union, period. Okay? As we are on the verge of, of going to that next level, going through a gateway, you'll find many times that the dark forces try to hone in or, or trigger you or test you and try to interfere in the path. So Michael's always there. Your team is there. Um, the Ascended Masters, Lords of Karma are great to work with, with Archangel Michael. And you can help the situation by asking for the removal of those things daily and putting that protection on yourself and your beloved daily. Um, working with the Violet Flame every day or every other day or once a week to help raise that vibration and purify energy. Um, that helps as well. That helps as well. Okay, but it, it's definitely an important time given what's happening uh, on this. Well, I hope we don't lose power. I am ready for the storm. Okay, um, great song, great song by the way. Ready for the storm. Um, 
it's important. It's important to stay safe in all ways. Yes, stay safe with your health, stay safe with the crazy things that are going on on the planet, you know, to, to get us to step into a higher vibration and frequency on this planet and change whatever has been broken. Um, and that be that collective fear energy, you know, those dark forces are trying their best to just feed off of that as ammunition. So it's that much more important to stay out of the fear, out of that low vibration, low frequency, which is where that's their land, that's their agenda, that's that's what where they're at. Um, and the higher you are, and the more you stay in alignment with the truth, um, the better. Okay. Now this is really important. Archangel Michael um, wanted to say this. I cannot clarify this anymore, but I'm about to. Okay. And this is about the divine support that really is there. It's not just hearsay. It's not just making it up to sound good. It's not like, all, oh yeah, all the twin flames on all the channels are regurgitating the same shit. Um, I want you guys to know this, and I'm very genuine. Um, from where I'm coming from. Okay, use your discernment with who you listen to, who you're guided to, who you choose to be in a group with, who runs these groups, all these different things. I might do a video just on that alone, okay, because you can definitely get tested, if you know what I mean, when people are not who they say they are, okay, but we'll save that for another vid, but um, in terms of you know, it's it's just really, really important for you guys to realize that the information may sound repetitive in terms of, of you know, giving this information, oh, we're, we're getting somewhere, oh, we're progressing, oh, my twin flame's thinking of me. Um, we have to understand we're at that other level. Okay, and if you aren't resonating with other channels, if you're not resonating with car readings too, it's truthfully now about you not not needing okay to rely on you know card readings and all these different things, relying on them for the truth. Okay, you want to be able to trust your own truth radar. And in certain times we're guided to certain channels or we're guided to certain videos, and there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever but we want to really align with truth and we don't want to um, get thrown off of it these dark forces are looking to do that okay um, Michael states that divine beings are assisting in all ways on the planet to ensure the divine energetic lines of ascension are well fastened okay think of the earth and hooking up those energetic lines that we can hoist the planet up okay grid work Right? We're talking about that divine uh, grid work to have this ascension underway with planet Earth. Okay, um, and the darkness of illusions cannot remove them. Okay, so they're they're sure about this plan, guys. We have not left you, nor will we. I am in charge of the armies of light, and I am instructing them to remove all conspiracy theories, false imagery, collective fear-based approaches within governmental systems, educational systems, health systems, and with all areas of concern. This is why you are experiencing the chaos that you are experiencing right now on this planet. This is why everything is being exposed. Even in the entertainment world, this is why everything is coming up. Everything that has been brainwashing us and manipulating us and keeping us in the dark, keeping us in illusion, keeping us from aligning with truth. Those things are being, people are being outed, okay? All of these games, all of these tactics, they're all being brought up, brought out, exposed. Okay, the ending of these things. And this was the greater plan. The greater plan is going through. Okay, the removals are within an energetic modulation and are also being assisted by the Galactic Federation of Light. And these are many of the well-known ascended masters who have pre preceded your successful ascension process. So we do have the Galactic Federations of, of Light that are helping us as well. 
okay? Different uh, galactic light beings, as in the masters from all different areas of the stars, who are assisting with this, okay? We are removing the veils of illusion. We cannot... Um, Okay, so I, I think what Michael meant to say, we, we cannot force, um, oh, control, I'm sorry, there was a typo there because it was chat. Um, we cannot control individual human beings for this would be a breach of universal law. With the removal of these energies or purification, if you will, it is similar to the process I've explained with Twin Flames. These energies will come up to the consciousness and will be enacted, Okay. The, Schu the Schumann's resonance and the geometric meters of Earth are showing inconsistencies due to this, okay, due to the collective fear energy, okay? Gaia has absorbed many of the lower vibrations and frequencies and is also healing because she is living and she is conscious. Cosmic alignments and vortex energies are all a, a, they're also a part of assisting Gaia at this time, along with her inhabitants. Therefore, interdimensional frequencies and their living beings are also creating changes at this time with, uh, within, within earthly changes and the effects of all its inhabitants. Okay, so we're getting that assistance, guys. That's what this is. We're getting it. Galactic dark hold interference is also a factor with the Earth's ascension process. So we have it in that way, too. Okay, we assure you... That failure is not an option, nor is the human race to be extinguished. For we have pre-planned, and despite many attempts, these are all being addressed. Okay, and it's really important to believe that and to to trust that, no matter what you're seeing on the news or what whatever you're hearing from from those who are twin flames or in doubt or in fear or those who claim to be twin flames and they're not really okay they're cloaking it out so just be really careful out there and please you know it's about really believing and trusting that the greater plan the greater plan is a non-fail it really really is a non-fail we are here to uphold the light and despite the dark beings attempts to hold that darkness the light the light heart wins true love wins hold to that hold to that light be that candle be that candle within the darkness that's going on here the dark night of the earth right and you know i just wanted to add to just to finish up because I, I know we're getting there with time um you know, the Leo energy is a time of uh, cutting through the tiger, the, uh, the lion. It's cutting through illusion. It's seeing the truth. You know, it's being able to recognize what is false versus what is actually real and to be able to then move forward accordingly. Make those strong, and bold, bold steps while you're in your sovereignty, while you're in your strength, while you're in your courage energy. That fire is strong. That fire is also creative and passionate. So we have strong creative and passionate energies. The goddess Bridget very much helps with that. Okay, it brings that creative inspiration. It helps you to be the best co-creator and co-manifester, you know, by um, really just connecting with that fo that force that energy that that fire within coming up with new ideas right what's going on within your imagination what are you receiving within what are your dreams okay and being inspired to make things happen that inspiration has to come first that passion from within that spark from within it makes things happen and that spark from within that passion tells you what's what's real as well right and we feel our twins very strongly now your masculine's feeling you if you're a feminine okay um if you're a masculine your feminine is feeling you they can't get away from feeling you whether you have physical proof right now or not they're feeling you they know you're there they know at this point that you're never going to leave them they trust that 
and they've really um, taken accountability for a lot of things that have happened in their past, but only they know, though, it's up to them to make those changes. But you've inspired them. Awakens twin, you've inspired them, you've inspired the energy, you've lit up the spark. Right? You, you, you inspire that their spark to be lit to make those changes. So I just want to leave you with that. Okay. So much to to reflect on and so much that's ahead to actually create. And it's all about being a, a, a creator, having that freedom of being that creator, having that confidence to be a creator, believing in yourself, believing in your dreams, believing in humanity, believing in social change, believing in the cleansing of, of toxins and chemicals and things that have been hurting humanity. It's the belief and holding on to the truth of what's going to be better for this world, that's what's going to ensure the uh, success of everything and it's already happening it's already happening okay it's happening so don't give up stay in that trust so thank you so much to all of you who took the time to to listen um and i'm hoping that you know these messages resonate with you if so let me know down below if they don't no need to leave any nasty comments because they will be immediately deleted. We're here to support each other with truth, not illusion. We're here to truthfully lift each other up. It's, it's really very important time to lift each other up and to see what you can do to lift others up, okay? Because you're here for very important reasons. All right, so thank you, everyone. Brightest blessings to you all. Remember from the heart of the darkness is born the light. Have a wonderful, powerful month. Embrace what happens. Embrace what comes up. Embrace the change. Even if it's very difficult, embrace it because it will lead you to where you need to be. Take care, and I will see you all next week. Love you guys. Bye-bye.